An 11 year veteran of the Apache Junction Police Department is known for helping others in his community. Just last month, body camera video recorded Officer Josh DuPont helping rescue a woman from her SUV in Apache Junction. Yeah, that video was amazing, but he's not just a hero on the job. He's also a hero at home, stepping up after his wife was diagnosed with an extremely rare disease. Fox 10's Marissa Sarbach shares the exclusive story now of how the community is coming together to help. It's called SUSAC syndrome, and at the height of the disease, it impacts severely your eyesight, hearing, and even your brain function. Very rare autoimmune disease. Um, they say there's less than 500 cases worldwide since 1978, and I'm one of them. <laughs> Sarah DuPont and her husband, Officer Josh DuPont, were excited. It was November 2019, and they were expecting their second child. I woke up one day, and I just had ringing in my left ear. I didn't know why. Um, I was pregnant, and we hadn't really told anyone I was pregnant, and we don't know if being pregnant is what triggered it because it didn't happen with my first pregnancy. So, and each baby's different. So, on New Year's Eve, Sarah ended up in the hospital, her body rejecting food, and their family still without answers. Finally, doctors figured out what was wrong and diagnosed her with the rare autoimmune disease. It attacks your brain, your vision, and your hearing. With a world class teaching hospital, Barrow Neurological Institute, right in their backyard, Sarah was lucky enough to know where to go for treatment. But it meant Josh needed to take time off work. For a point there, I was I was off on FMLA for an absorbent amount of time, and I had exhausted all of my leave. And um, members of of the police department and the city had donated time just to extend um, time off. my time off. All while Sarah was getting treatment and delivering their baby, officers were delivering meals to their home. The community started a GoFundMe to help them with their financial burden. Today, Sarah's vision has returned, but her hearing has not. But she's thankful to be a mom and to be here to watch her kids grow up. I mean, I miss like a full year of Ainsley's life, and I feel like now I'm back to it. <laughs> Feels good. Sarah say they're actually very private people, but they wanted to speak out and share their story because they really appreciate the community's support during this difficult time, and they also wanted to bring awareness to the disease. Marissa Sarbach for Fox 10 News.